Hey everyone, welcome back to a new mini PC build. Today we are building the new Pyron Man 5 Max case right here. Shout out to Sunbounder for this new case. It is all blacked out. And I am building it with a new Raspberry Pi 5, as you see right here. And uh, if you watched my previous video, you'll see how I built the previous Pyron Man 5 case here. It is all silver, acrylic see-through right here. It looks very nice. Go check out that video. But today we are doing the Pyron Man 5 Max. All blacked out, new features, new everything, more powerful. Stay tuned. We're going to do the build first, and then I'm going to jump in to do a comparison, and I'll run through both cases, both builds. One is a 8 gigabyte, the previous one. This is 16 gigabyte. I mean, I am maxing it out with dual NVMe drives right here. So I'll do that at the end, and uh, check out the time markers if you want to jump to what sections you want to see. But I'm going to follow the instructions right here. We're going to do the build out right now. Let's get into it. Things looking good. What do you guys think? Looks good. Going, 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 going. There we go. Look at that. That's how it looks like. Blacked out Pyroman 5 Max. And that is the original Pyroman 5. Clear versus blacked out. Look at that. This one has the camera on it. That's how it looks like. And this is how it looks like while I'm live streaming right now on the setup. Live stream. 
First time live streaming, go check out Sun Founder, Pyraman 5 Max. Shout out to them. These are the leftover pieces here. Look, they give you extra pieces. All these leftover screws here too. And even this right here, in case you snap one of the wires, they give you leftover. Make sure you get the right power supply. You can find all of this on Sun Founder. Here is the 3.5 inch screen. I'm gonna install this right now on this. I'm gonna put it on. Here we go. First boot up. I have to connect the uh, this HDMI because it might need it for the first run. So for the first boot up, it's not showing on this, but it shows on my monitor, on my big monitor here. Oh yeah, the LED lights are not gonna turn on until I do the installation. I remember when I installed this first one, I had to do the full installation and then the LED lights turn on. And here it is. It is up and running, running the Raspberry Pi operating system. And it is looking nice, look at this thing. The LED lights are on, the fan is on. I even have the cam connected right here. And I got that running, I'll show you in a minute. But just take a look at this beauty. That looks so nice. And so in a minute, I'll also run both computers so you can see how it looks like side by side with it dual booted, with the lights going and see which one you like more. Another thing is I also got the touch screen thing to work here, the 3.5 inch screen by connecting it back here. And uh, it takes a little bit more setup. So I think I'm gonna do a separate video on this because I plan on doing uh, something else, a little project on it. But it is touch screen and I got it running for a bit, but I reverted it back to run on the uh, monitor. But this one right here, take a look at that. That's how it looks like on my desk. It is looking nice. And what I'll do is I'll leave a link in my description to the instructions on SunFounder's website for the Pyraman 5, how to install this because you have to run an installation thing. And it's very simple, you just gotta go through the steps. But you have to run a few commands, you have to do a git and run the installation. And uh, what I did was to get the operating system on here, I installed it on a little micro SD card here. You know, and using Imager, I put the operating system on here, installed it first, and then I did a copy of that operating system. There's a command up in Raspberry Pi 5 where you can copy the SD card onto the NVMe, and it copies the whole operating system onto the NVMe, and that's what it's booting up on right now. Very simple. Uh, you don't have to do that, but I like to have things booted up on my NVMe. It's just faster, and then I don't have to deal with this. I can still boot up with an SD card if I put other operating systems on it. But what I want to do right now is I'm going to run this camera so you can see how it runs. It was very straightforward. You see how I connect it back here. And I just put on this little tripod here. This is uh, rigged it up really quick so I can show you guys. And it was very easy. You don't have to do any installation. You just got to plug that in. Make sure it's plugged in good. And plugged in correctly with the wires facing the right way. Here we go. Let me run the RPI cam right here. Uh, I'll leave the command in the description as well if you want to see. Hey guys. So yeah, this cam is working great. Uh, very smooth. Look at this. Look at the latency on it. Very fast. So I can't wait to do some projects with this camera here. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to install my favorite operating system on here, the KDE Plasma. And then I want to run some of my um, React projects on here and see if it can access the camera and run some AI stuff on here. So let me see if I can set that up. is smiling and holding a light colored cat that has one paw ring. The person is wearing a white long sleeve shirt with Japanese characters. And here it is, the final result. This is the Pyraman 5 Max, fully installed, 
with the LED lights running, operating system is running on here, and this is how it looks like with both machines running, LED lights running, and then the new feature right here, boom, tap it, come on, <laughs> tap it, display comes on, that shows the CPU, temperature, everything similar to that right there, that's how both system looks, and yeah, this one has an auto shut off, you know, whenever you want to see it, just tap on it, it comes on, cool new feature, but look how dark this one is now, right, so it's good for nighttime. It's not too bright now. This one is very bright at night if you have it on. But this is how it looks like right now. I'll show the installation for the Pyroman 5 Max. Um, all of the commands you need to do in the description along with everything that you need to if you want to build this thing by Sunfounder. Shout out to Sunfounder for this. They hooked me up with this case, Pyroman 5 Max. I told them I love their previous case, so they provided a lot of this for me. Uh, I couldn't install this uh, 3.5 screen yet. I'll see if I can do it in a minute here but it connects back here and to make things easy I just connect to my big monitor here to show you guys the differences right here and I just have my uh, keyboard here connected wireless mouse and keyboard. This was a fun little build here. Uh, let me shut the, the blinds a little bit so you can see nighttime. Look at that, I closed the blinds and it's darker and yeah, you tell me which one do you like more? Which one would you rather have running here? Because nighttime, I think this one's going to be a lot better, right? Look, you can still see through it, nighttime. I was worried about that, that was going to be fully blacked out and I couldn't see through it, but nighttime, look, you can see everything here. It looks so nice. So. I am liking this one. It has a nice glow to it, fully blacked out. This one, look, is, a, is brighter at night. So if you're sleeping or something, you have this on, it's gonna disturb you. So this one, if you have stuff running at night, if you have this fully on 24 seven, yeah, that's the one to go. Very nice build here. Shout out to Sunfounder once again for providing me this whole setup here. Uh, in the next videos, I will do more with the camera here give this video a like if you like this build series and go check out Sunfounder awesome company the best case on the market right now for the Raspberry Pi 5 that's how I feel like this is the best amazing looking beautiful case easy installation looks nice runs smooth no issues and like I said go through their site run through the install easy I got this up running pretty quick I hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you in the next one. Peace. I just got my stream recommended. Nice. Um, I don't think anyone's doing building streams. I don't know, I could be wrong. Mainly because they're probably boring. <laughs> no one wants to watch a boring building stream, but but the final video, you know, if you wait for it, if you subscribe and watch the final video, it's gonna be chopped up and it's gonna be a nice edit. Maybe I'll put your comment in there too.